is a requirement for all of our officers to get rid of their weapons so there are no weapons allowed inside of this holding facility. It's all uh, key coded again for security and as you can hear the door clunk behind you, it is very, very secure. Over here in this room, we have an intoxilizer. This room is obviously where we're, we bring our uh, folks that have been arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol. Right here, this is not used very much. This is actually an area where we can shower folks off because unfortunately we get some folks that are uh, uh, pretty dirty. Um, some, some through no fault of their own, some through their own fault. Anyway, so it's not used too often. If you look at the bottom here, you can see these little uh, silver disc. These discs actually are kick plates and what happens is, is that if the, an officer is in trouble or if there's a fight going on, you can simply kick this kick plate and it will register into our communication center which is located on the second floor and they can advise other officers to come in here and help uh, whoever's in trouble in here. So this is the main area. This is not considered a jail. It's considered a holding facility and therefore there are certain requirements that are necessary. For example, once we put somebody in here, we have to obviously make sure that they're okay, so we need to check on them periodically. Um, to the back, there's a, several cells in there where we can put people that's a little bit more secluded. And they're uh, segregated men, women, and juvenile on the other side. So the juveniles are always separated from the adults over here. Over here, this is all the booking area. So essentially, I would come back here and I would begin booking a prisoner who would sit here and relinquish all of his or her belongings and then I would do an inventory. I would log them into the book over here saying that they came into the facility at this time because that's very important. Time is really critical. For example, a juvenile has to be out of this facility within six hours. We have a six hour limit and then they are out the door. So we have to figure out what we need to do with them. These lockers are for property. There's also um, a locker for prisoner food. We have a prisoner for a length of time, we have to give them this fine meal so that they don't remain hungry in our facility. <clears throat> okay, the computer system obviously would record their information, the charges that we have pending on this individual, um, what we intend to do with them such as release pending charges or taking them to jail. So this is the initial place that they come to to be booked prior to being transported up to Jefferson County Jail for a more permanent stay. Okay, if we come over into this room here, this room actually kind of winds around to the back. Again, it's a, it's a way to keep juveniles and adults separate. It's very critical to keep them separate. But this room in here is our booking area. So again, we would book from this area and the prisoner would come here. They would stand within these footprints and their picture would be taken in the camera above. Then we would move them over to this section here and this is where we take the electronic fingerprints that are transferred over here to the computer. Uh, once they are finished with this particular aspect, then we would place them in a holding cell and that would be dependent on are we going to be interviewing these folks or are we just waiting until we can get an officer to transport them up to the jail. So this is what it looks like as you walk into our facility. I would highly suggest that you stay out of here. Nasty sounds. <laughs>